And last week, we told you about a camp that is teaching young girls about the construction industry. Well, now we are following back up with them now that their camp experience has wrapped up. Jennifer Blake on your side with a deeper look into how this camp and how these girls grew throughout the week. Right where I'm standing, young girls learn how to drill, make tiles, even working with wires like a real electrician. The Richmond chapter of the National Association of Women in Construction held a camp here in Regency to teach girls new skills and to get them confidence in themselves. Watching them come out of their shells, get excited, make new friends, and that transformation from like just Monday to Friday, it's so rewarding. It's unbelievable to watch. For the first time in the Richmond area, 7th, 8th, and ninth grade girls got to participate in a camp that teaches them construction skills that are stereotypically done by men. For five days, 14 girls got to learn how to create tiles, do electrician work, and even drive a bulldozer, well, virtually. The girls could virtually go in and wire up a construction zone. Allison Mullins with the Richmond chapter of the National Association of Women in Construction says virtual reality is starting to play a larger role at the camp. It's very game-like, and we're finding that, you know, in this generation of learning, the more we can make something fun and energetic and where they feel like they're accomplishing the game and winning the game, that seems to be a, a going favorite for all of the girls. But she says the girls' favorite activity of the week? Definitely the mosaic tile and doing the mortar and learning about grout and creating their own little mosaic piece. That came up a lot. Mullen tells me this could not have been possible without a collaborative effort. She says they learned a lot this year and are ready to make next year's camp bigger and better. You can find more information about the camp on our website, NBC12.com. On your side in Rico, Jennifer Blake, NBC12 News.